doing Q&A with Mickey and Shay. And we are at Roger Neal Style and Couture Suites at the beautiful Lux Hotel. And we are with Kelsey Scott. Hello there. Hi, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet both of you. What is it like being nominated for an Oscar award? Um, it's a bit of amazing. <laughs> you can't really equate it with anything you've ever experienced in your life. <laughs> Do you think that you will win? Well, I mean, it's for the entire film, not just for me, but I, I hope that it'll be a, a, a very fun celebration at the end of the night. <laughs> so true. Are you looking forward to any after parties? I am, I am. I will be attending the Elton John after party, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and you were in 12 Years a Slave? Yes. Mm -hmm. Were you the main character woman? I w <laughs> the main character woman. Main character woman. <laughs> I was the wife of the main character. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, congratulations on getting Thank the you. part. Thank you. What was it much. like in that, uh, working in that film? Uh, it was really, really special. You know, it was a, a very unique atmosphere working in Louisiana. I've fallen in love with New Orleans. I've been working there a lot. And then the film itself is just really so unique and so specific and of course a true story. So it was uh, it was a great experience. Yeah. And could, like being in a part of history, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. It's humbling. <laughs> could you tell our audience what some of your pre-Oscar rituals are? Wow. Well, let's see. This will be my first time at the Oscar rodeo. So, um... Ooh, rodeo. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> um, I think at this point, it's really kind of gathering friends whose opinions I trust. Because, uh, you know, everybody will tell you that you look good in something or something looks good on you, but it's not always the truth, so... Yeah. You were you know, in a trash bag. Oh, my God, you look amazing. <laughs> like, that's great on you. And then your friends in the corner are like, mm-mm. <laughs> <So. laughs> And which film, other than yours, of course, has influenced you emotionally? Emotionally? You know what, I think this has actually been a really good year for films. Um, especially, especially the ones that are nominated, but several that aren't nominated, too. It's just been, um, I can't pick one, because that wouldn't be fair. But I would say that I really have enjoyed going to the movies this past year. Your dress is fabulous today. Oh, thank it you. Red really looks good on you. Thank you. <laughs> Fab. Where did you get your dress from? Uh, this is Calvin Klein. Ooh, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> How did you become so successful in this field where others have failed? Wow. Um, I think it's about staying in the game. I think it's about longevity. Like, you know, if I, you stay in there long enough, then something is bound to happen. And you are, are you kind of like a method actor, like Stanislavski's way type of way? Or? I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. It's however you can get to that character authentically. <laughs> And our viewers are really curious to know, mm -hmm. what are your views on what should change in Hollywood and in the world? Wow, what's a change in Hollywood? I think people should not be afraid to tell stories that are important to them. You know, sometimes we get wrapped up in what might be commercial, and I think it should be really about um, what touches you. And I think actually that might apply to the world too. Don't be afraid to tell your story. I think all of our viewers out there would just want to know, like, as an actor in a big time film, and it's a really like dramatic film, a character um, like Twelve Years a Slave. Like, what type of emotions and like memories do you do you think upon to like get into your mood and character, and just how do you do it? Well, you know, sometimes you have to go to 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 dark places. You know, places where you yourself were experiencing something that was traumatizing or that that took you to a deep sense of grief. And and I had to do that for this. Um, but you know, that's why it's important that after the camera stop that you have a support system that includes not only your friends who are at home but trusting the actors and trusting the the man behind the camera especially Steve McQueen. Well we have something special for you. Uh -oh. Yeah. Dad, what? You well, can add what? this to your collection of Oscars. It's a 3D printed Oscar, the first one of your night. Yes. And your Oscar speech now. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. All right. That's what I've got so far. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so long <laughs> paper. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much for having me. You guys are adorable. <laughs>